question is, you know, when, when you lose Marcus, you lose a guy that can play the two and the three. Uh, you had Quentin out the last game. How is he now? Well, what, I think today he'll be very limited. I think we're going to err on the side of caution with him because of the Marcus situation. So um, he's doing better. Uh, our hope is that he'll be full goal by the beginning of next week, so he'll be ready to play on Tuesday. That's that's our, our hope. Um, he's made great improvement over the last two days, uh, but um, you know we, we got to make sure that he's you know 100% ready to go on Tuesday night. So do you use someone like Rob at the three and bring in Lammers and the others, or how do you switch that? Yeah, around? I mean we had obviously we had to do that in that in that particular game, um, but you know I. I I think if Quinton's back and ready to go, and then you know Josh was so limited in that game Tuesday as well, but he's 100% now back from the from the virus and able to eat and stuff like that. Um, you know, so we'll go with you know we we would probably go more with the two guards in there at one time than as opposed to moving a post to the wing. Do you? Kind of plan expecting that Quentin will play, or how do you? I, we're gonna, you know, in terms of planning for the game, yeah. uh, we'll start that tomorrow. Okay. So we'll have a little better feel for right. it, you know, tomorrow. Okay. Uh, today, I, I think everybody's excited about today's practice. It's just us going against each other and competing and, mm -hmm. and working on some things on us, which we haven't been able to do in a long time. And so I think um, we won't even, you know, worry about worry about right. p planning or game yeah. planning. We'll probably in practice today have uh, uh, Josh and, and Travis play some more together uh, okay. because a lot of times they have, you know, they go against each other right. or, you know, on two separate teams. So you may see a little bit of more of that. So that might, you know, lend itself to saying you're planning for having to right. play that way. Yeah. You, uh, you got to see more of Ben last game and you got to see some stretches of AD for yep. the first time. What, what did you see? From well, you know, I, I think, again, every time you see Ben go out there, you see kind of the, the um, uh, you know, some highlights of what you think down the road he's really going to be able to do. Uh, you know, he was really good defensively in that game. Uh, and you can see where he can, you know, stretch the court a little bit from that five spot, which I think is going to be down the road, really, really good for us. Um, and, you know, you, you just like the fact that both those guys compete, you know what I mean? Um, and so I think that was a, if there was any positive in that game, it, that would, you know, that was that. And, um, you know, I think um, both those guys, the, the, the thing that they lack is, is time. And what the time will bring them is added strength, because that's kind of where, wherever there's a mistake made or they're kind of exposed. It's usually just due to the, the strength factor. You want to get them to a point where they're comfortable out there, and they don't have to stop and think about what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah, and 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 you know, um, you know, we went you know a couple of days of practice or one day of practice. You know, where, where you know we told AD he was going to have to you know be ready to go, and and um, you know, so hopefully with a couple of days of us getting back to normal practice where we're out there competing, he'll get a lot of reps the next couple of days. How did Marcus handle the news about? You know, he's in good spirits, as good as he can be in. You know, I mean, he, again, he's a kid of strong faith, and, you know, <coughs> I think he, you know, feels that, you know, this is just part of the plan, and he's not happy about it. Right. Um, you know, I think he was looking forward to uh, us playing in the tournament. Um, and and uh, with everybody at the same venue, and now you know everybody's on even ground. You, the records don't mean anything. You go out there and compete. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen for him. Um, but he understands he has a, a very important role now uh, as a as a guy that's got to keep the guys up, got to keep them focused, and different things like that. And so we met today, and you know he's doing okay. He's doing okay. What's the game plan for him moving forward as far as? Taking care of the foot, rehab, that type of thing. Well, the, 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 um, we made the decision to have the surgery that first day of spring break, so he's going to be home with his family. Doesn't have to worry about getting around classes and all that stuff. So he'll be able to spend that whole first week just, you know, resting at at home, which will make it a lot easier. It's a lot better for him. Um, 
and you know, obviously he's a he's a guy that is a extremely as we talked last week, very hard worker, and he'll be he'll be doing everything possible except for you know putting weight on that on that foot, and and um, this is an injury that you know is very common among basketball players. The fifth metatarsal is what you know when guys tend to break a bone in their foot. That's usually it. Um, and you, more times than not, it has to be healed with surgery and with a pin, uh, you know. So, uh, you know, he'll he'll have a great spring in terms of doing whatever workouts he can do, and mm-hmm. he'll get back ready to go. It's, you know, six to eight weeks is usually, or eight to 12 weeks, depending on, but we'll take it slow, obviously, and, and make sure that he's in position to have a great summer. Fortunately, he'll have a lot of time to, to recover. Too. Yeah, you know, I mean, you, you never want, especially you know someone as good a player as him you never want him to have an injury uh but the if there's a time to have it it'd be at the end of the season you know where you have that especially you know because during the spring what we do is we do individual skill work and we lift you know we try to get our bodies back ready for a really good summer and so he'll he'll be ready to go at that time do you have concerns <coughs> that the rest of the team will It'll be deflating for them? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, You know, sometimes, um, you know, you you just, guys will have, you know, an opportunity now uh, to to step up. And I think uh, any competitor, uh, although it's disappointing, Mm -hmm. any competitor sees that and and wants to make the most of that. And I think our guys will do that. Mm Obviously, it's tough not knowing who you're going to play, but like, how just how do you look at this tournament and what you feel you can? Well, you know, again, you know, I think um, you got you know teams on that first day that have have you know played well at times during the year, right. um, sometimes resulting in wins and sometimes not resulting in wins, mm-hmm. um, and then you know you got the, the next round of, of, of teams that are probably fighting for some type of postseason. Bit. So mm-hmm. every game is, you know, I think, you know, I don't know the exact number, but I know the ACC keeps talking about how many close games there, there have been, you know what I mean, in this league. And um, I think you're going to see that throughout the entire tournament. Good. All good?